Hey guys, Moose here, and today they've released a new trailer slash gameplay for the new operators that are coming with Operation Shifting Tides. So, um, we're going to watch it together, and um, I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Um, and whenever the video is over, in the comment section below, leave your thoughts on the new operators and how you think how useful you think they're going to be um, in this year's in this new season and tell me a little bit about how excited you are for this season but without further ado let's go Okay, just to um, reflect on her as an operator, I think that she has probably the most utility that I've seen on an attacker. Thatcher's got a lot, Capitan has a lot, Gridlock has a lot. This single operator takes out Mew Jammers, Yeg, uh, I'm assuming it would take out ADSs if they're placed beside the reinforced wall. It takes out bandits. Takes out, I'm assuming it takes out Kaids. Takes out maestros. 
she is, by and large, one of the most unique and absolutely insane operators that I think we've ever seen in Siege, and I think that she is going to be, she's going to be that way for a while. Um, she's very, very good. Uh, her weapon is very, very good. Um, it's uh, it's really effective. It seems like I mean, it's one, it's one, it's a one hit. I mean, you go down with one shot. I, I don't know. They haven't shown us the damage stat, but it's it's got to be a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let the video roll, but I just thought I'd give you guys my tips. absolutely called it i'm so glad that they finally released an operator that can counter capital bolts i thought i thought about that all the time during the trailer i think i even mentioned it but it's factual capital now has a hard counter because he only gets four bolts yeah so man very excited very excited um i'm gonna let it keep rolling just thought i need to stop it there because that's a big win for me <laughs> So basically what they're saying is they actually fixed theme park, which I didn't think was possible. I didn't think the theme park would ever feel like a good map, but now it does, which is it's actually pretty good, I think. Uh, I really like the fact that they took out train, because I feel like train was the big problem area in the map, because um, it was just such a hard like transition from um, like dorms and drug side to office side. Like it was the, the train wasn't necessary and I understand it was supposed to be a theme park but 
it was it was a it was way too open way too many avenues um for attackers to come through there's four doors no yeah there are four doors in that one room and if you're looking toward one the other door can see you almost 100 percent of the time so the fact that they took train out really helps this map because i mean it wasn't like it was a bad map it wasn't like office side wasn't good and it wasn't like drug side and um, kids wasn't good it the, both those sides of the map were good but it was the middle of the meeting point that really just sucked it sucked really bad and they took it out so yeah we're looking at massive improvements to theme park and i'm very excited to see where this leads next season Okay, that single addition makes Theme Park a better map. <laughs> that one thing makes it better. <laughs> because, oh my god, they can't, it's so much harder for them if you're playing Drug Lab right here. Yeah, if they haven't moved the hatch and they haven't moved Drug Lab, if you were in there, that hatch they can't peek it from that side anymore so that means you're good to sit on like the um the western side of the objective and you don't have to worry about getting peeked from the hatch it's a beautiful beautiful addition so and of course whenever this map does release um right now i'm working on a video about canal but whenever this map does release i'm going to go through and show you guys a lot of useful valcam spots spawn peaks echoes and maestro cams because Intel is my main thing. Intel is my favorite thing about the game. So I'm definitely going to figure out really nice places for you to put your um, equipment. Um, the canal video should be out in a couple days. Um, well, it's mostly edited. I just have to throw, um, get a couple more spawn peak clips and put them in there. Um, but it'll be done. It'll be done. And look for it probably, what is today? Look for maybe Wednesday. Maybe. So, yeah. But I'm going to let the rest of this roll and then we'll talk about it. So, in conclusion, these ops are fucking amazing. Um, the attacker, I already forgot her name. Um, Hut, the attacker, very, very, very unique. Her weapon is very good, and her utility is even better. This is a siege operator, and it's a shame that she's not a three-speed, because she doesn't look that heavily armored, but I understand they're making well, they want her to be a little bit um more tanky than a three speed simply because i think she has a her weapons rate of fire isn't that good but all she has to do is hit you one time it, it's not like that with even glass like glass you have to get two shots down i think most of the time so her being the amazing fucking operator she is um yeah she she definitely needed to be a two speed um the defender um i really like that they gave him the mp5k because the mp5k is one of my favorite guns in the entire game um the rate of fire is good the uh the recoil is good it's really manageable the damage is good for um how small of a gun it is i really enjoy it and honestly i think i'll be running it over the aug i think the aug has higher damage output but i don't know it just depends i guess on the situation and um 
what kind of map we're looking at because the mp5 is very good in medium to long to close but it, it's better at medium long than i think the aug is because every I, I feel like when i challenge stuff with kaid from a longer distance um it just it never works out unless of course that is the attacker aug in which case i will be running the mp5k because the uh, unless it has a vert grip it's borderline useless i hate the aug but in um response to his gadget um his gadget is very um it's one of the most unique defender gadgets we've ever seen i think um, in the well unique in the sense that it does more <laughs> because it's basically just a ads but it's very um it's very i like the design of it i like the idea of it and i like the way it works so they they released a counter to capital so that's always good um because I mean, honestly, it, Capitao had free reign. Once you busted a wall open, plant the diffuser, Capitao can do whatever the hell he wants. He had uh, no repercussions. But now, now, with, um, shit, I cannot remember their names. With the new defender, yeah? He, say they, he, honestly, I'm already thinking you could let them smoke out the OBJ if you know they have a Capitao and let them smoke it out. Then throw two magnets after the diffuser goes down, so when he tries to burn it, he can't. Then go and smoke diffuse. Simple as that. Um, very, very um, smart. He, he, you can do a lot with him. Uh, the amount of strats that he has at his disposal. Very good. But I'm going to wrap the video up. Um, the new defenses are awesome. The, I mean, the new operators are awesome. Um, their gadgets are cool. Their weapons are cool. Um, I know that they didn't add any new weapons for the defender, but they added that beast of a rifle on attack, so that makes up for it. <laughs> so, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Leave a like on the video, if you liked the video, obviously, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, yeah, so, I want to peace out. You guys have a good day. And again, look for a video on probably Wednesday. Moose out.